Hello, my name is Alan, and in this video we will show you how to set up the total station and how to set out given coordinates. Setting out is the process of transferring the coordinates of a building, road or structure from design drawings to the ground or site. Setting out points can be represented on the ground by stakes, nails or bolts depending on the project specification and the ground conditions. Setting up the tripod, make sure you've positioned yourself in a relatively flat area where you can clearly see the points you wish to backside as well as the points you wish to set out. Also, make sure you are not obstructing roads, pathways or other workers operating in the area. Extend the legs until the plate is roughly shoulder height. This will prevent you from bending or overextending once the total station is attached. Place the legs into the allocated holes on the tripod star. You may have to adjust the legs of the tripod until they are approximately level, as shown. If on soft ground, stand on the legs to push them into the ground to ensure the legs are stable. The stability of the legs is very important because even the smallest of movement in the legs can cause errors in the setting out of your points later on. If the surface you are setting up on doesn't have the grip required to hold the legs or you don't want to damage the surface, a tripod stair should be used as in this scene. Be careful taking the total station out of the case as it is a very expensive piece of equipment. Use two hands on the total station to place it on the tripod and secure it by using the screw from underneath. Adjust the length of the tripod legs to get the plate bubble to move approximately to the center. This will make it much easier for you to level the total station later with the foot screws. Make sure you close up the total station case and place it out of the way in case you trip over it or knock the total station over. Press and hold the on button and wait for the total station to load up. The digital leveling tool should appear on the screen. If the digital leveling tool doesn't show up once the total station is turned on, press the function button and then press F1 to enter the level plummet mode. Twist the two foot screws parallel with your display simultaneously in opposite directions. Then adjust the third foot screw until the spirit bubble is centered and press F4 for OK. If setting up over a known point, make sure the red laser marker is on the point before using the foot screws to level the total station. If the laser marker is moved, loosen the screw attaching the total station to the legs and gently slide the total station over until the laser is over the spot and then tighten the screw again. After this, you should re-level the total station in case your setup has moved slightly. First thing you have to do after leveling the total station is to create a job file. This file will be where all your data unique to your job will be saved. To do this, press the menu button F4 for file management and F1 to enter the jobs folder. Firstly, we must give the job a name. For the sake of this demonstration, I will call it job A. Next is to enter the operator's name. Your initials will be enough here. Press OK to save the job and then press OK again to set the job. Next, we have to enter and save the points we wish to backside to. To do this, we press menu, F4 for file management and then F2 for fixed points. At the top, you will see the job name this data will be saved under. Next, we need to enter the point ID. For this, I will be using BS1 as a reference for my first backside point. I will give it the coordinates 1000, 1000 and a height of 100. When you press OK, you will see it automatically changes the point name to the next numerically available one, BS2. I will give this backside coordinates of 2000, 2000 and height 100. Press OK and then press Escape to leave this mode. Now we have to determine the location of the total station. There are two ways of doing this. The first is setting up over an unknown point and backsiding to known points. The other is setting up over a known point and backsiding to other known points. I will begin with the first method known as a free station setup. So how does a free station setup work? 
A free station is where you set up your total station in any location, suitable to you and the work you wish to carry out. The total station then uses a number of back sites and the corresponding distances and angles between those points and you to determine your location. What are back sites? Back sites are points of which the easting, northing and height are already known. These may be part of a global coordinate system or a local grid constructed specifically for your site. First off, set up and level your total station in a clear area where your back sites and the points you wish to set out are in plain sight. Enter the free station mode and select your first back site point. Center the crosshairs of the total station on the staff or reflector you are using and record the data. Proceed to the next back side point and repeat the process and then again record the data. Then press compute and the total station will now be able to calculate your position based on the angles and distances from your recorded data and give you coordinates for your setup location. When setting up over an unknown point, create a station name, TS1 in this case, and put zero as the height of the instrument. Select the find option for the previously saved station data you wish to use. It is considered good practice to measure these points in the order they appear while turning in a clockwise direction. You should also enter the height of this point as zero. Next, use the vertical find adjustment screw to center the crosshairs on your target. Select the all option to shoot the point and record the data. Select the next point and repeat this process for another back site. If possible, you may want to use a third back site in this process. Press compute for the total station to calculate your position. If this screen or this screen appears, it means you'll have to redo your resection as your position is not accurate. This screen means your position is accurate and you may proceed. For a control point setup, make sure your laser pointer is on the center of your mark, then measure and enter the height of your instrument above the marker. You now need to set the orientation of the total station. Center the crosshairs of the eyepiece on the reflector you are using and record the data. The total station will now use your position and the data of the point backsided to, to compute its location. The line from you to the backside point will be used as a reference line for future points you wish to set out. If setting up over a known point, we use the following method. We enter the setting out mode and then press F2 to set station. Select the save data corresponding with the point over which the total station is located and enter the height difference between the marker and the centre of the eyepiece, which is marked by an engraved dot at the side of the instrument. We now need to set the orientation of the total station. To do this, we use coordinates of another backside. The total station uses this data to determine which direction it is looking in and uses this line, the one between the total station location and the backside location, as a reference line for the setting out of coordinates later on. Using this recorded data, we can set the orientation of the total station and then proceed to the setting out. To begin setting out, we press the menu button, then F1 for programs and F2 to enter the setting out mode. The job, station and orientation are already set, so we can proceed by pressing F4. There are two ways of selecting the coordinates that you wish to set out. The first is manually by pressing F3 where you enter the easting, nording and height. The second method is by having the points already saved. As you can see near the top of the screen, I have saved points called corner 1 to 4. Starting with corner 1, rotate the total station in the direction shown on screen until the difference in the horizontal angle is approximately zero. This means that the total station is now looking along the line on which the point to be set out is located. Construct the chain boy to move the distance indicated on the screen. Select distance and wait for the total station to determine the distance the chain boy is holding the prism from the desired point. Repeat this until the dis distance is down to zero and then mark your point.